You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about the Marxist NBA of China. The NBA is so deep in bed with China, they're willing to overlook all of the atrocities that China has going on over there. The oppression of the Uyghurs, the people of Hong Kong, Taiwan. We talked about it time and time again. However, now, guys, there is a war going on. Between Russia and Ukraine, you guys pretty much know what is going on. And last night, the Boston Celtics thought it was a good idea to show support for Ukraine. Now, I want to be very, very clear. I don't have a problem with showing support for Ukraine. Their country is getting invaded. Russia is evil. Vladimir Putin is evil. But however, I find it kind of funny, guys, that the Boston Celtics now want to stand with the people of Ukraine as their coaching staff actually wore the flag of Ukraine on their shirts in a game. However, guys, they have been called out for their hypocrisy, folks. Check this out. Ennis Cancer Freedom calls out NBA over Ukraine pins hypocrisy. Now, the Marxist NBA at China and the Boston Celtics had to know that they would actually get called out for wearing the pins, showing support for Ukraine. But yet they show no support for Taiwan, for the Uyghurs and for the people of Hong Kong. They do not care because they're more concerned about cashing those are Chinese paychecks. But when it comes to Ukraine, them, the NBA showing support for Ukraine, there is no money lost because they're not really gaining any money whatsoever from Ukraine. They're not. They're all in bed with China. But uh, check this out, guys. This is what uh, Ennis Cancer Freedom had uh, tweeted out here. He says, hypocrites, I see. Celtics coaching staff win Ukrainian flat pins, which I support. What about Syria, Afghanistan, Uyghurs, Hong Kong, Tibet, Taiwan? Why is it OK to speak up, speak up about human rights violations there, but not in other countries? Is there not much profit from Russia? And you can see here, guys, this is the Celtics coaching staff right here. Wearing flats, wearing, wearing the uh, pins, wearing pins of. The Ukrainian flag. Where is the support for Hong Kong? Where's the support for the Uyghurs? Where is the support for Taiwan? Now, Ennis actually brought up uh, Syria and Afghanistan. Just like he said here, not much profit um, from Russia. There's no profit from uh, Syria or, or Afghanistan. They don't care about this. They don't. But also, guys. Ennis uh, said this. How is it fair when I wore shoes to bring awareness about human rights violations around the world, uh, Celtics begged me to remove them and threatened to ban me. Celtics now wear Ukrainian flat pants. Who approved this at the NBA PA and at the NBA? Who chooses whose lives are more important? And I'm glad that uh, Ennis actually uh, brought this up because we did videos on this too uh, in the past where the NBA came up to him and told him to remove his shoes. And he told him, no, he said, this is a free country. I can actually wear these shoes and show support for Tibet, for Taiwan, for Hong Kong and for the Uyghurs. Because when it comes down to it at the end of the day, guys, the NBA is hypocrites. They don't want to lose any of that Chinese money. None whatsoever. Now, is it right that they're supporting Ukraine? Don't have a problem with it. Do not have a problem with it. Ukraine is getting invaded. But we have seen the oppression of the people of Hong Kong and the Uyghurs. The NBA has said nothing. Nobody is wearing a pin with the flag of Hong Kong. Nobody is wearing anything to support the Uyghurs. But Ennis Cantor gets traded to the Rockets. And guess what? Ennis Cantor doesn't have a job now. He doesn't. And I believe, folks, with this statement now, Ennis Cancer Freedom will never play again in the NBA. 
I believe, folks, that his career is going to be over with. Because when he crossed the line, started crit criticizing China, it was only a matter of time. And now he doesn't have a team. NBA teams are more concerned about that Chinese dollar than actually giving a man that can actually play an opportunity. The man averaged 11 points and 11 rebounds last season. And this season, they cut his minutes dramatically because he came out and he started criticizing China. It's just a fact. And his rebounds per minute this season was still relatively good. I believe he had played on average like 11 minutes a game. And he was giving you like four rebounds a game and roughly four points. I'm glad that Ennis called out the Martins NBA at China and the Boston Celtics. This is hypocrisy on full display. I can guarantee you guys if uh, if Russia was funding the NBA the way that China is, you wouldn't see these pants. You absolutely would not see these pants. The Celtics and the NBA are doing nothing more than virtue signaling. Nothing more. Because when the few times I should say when the NBA is actually asked about China, they're pretty silent. They're pretty silent. They will not cross that barrier of Xi Jinping and the communist Chinese regime. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, hypocrisy on full display. The Celtics don't have a problem with them supporting Ukraine. But they made a mistake because now the floodgates have opened. They are definitely open to criticism because they will not say nothing on China because it will hurt their bottom line. And when it comes to Ukraine, there's no money lost. There's no money gained. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.